doctor, I am working in uh, NGOs, so I have a question. Uh, I worked with a couple of NGOs, so what I see around is, uh, particularly in Islamic Muslim NGOs institutions, uh, people are keeping powers and uh, you know tr they try to concentrate all power in themselves. Uh, those who are in position of authority and they are not transferring it and even if they are transferring they are transferring it to trying to transfer it to their loyalist or family members but uh, you came at exception and a very good example to follow you are in very comfortable position at the age of 58 60 and you exited Islamic relief when you had while you could have easily carried on keeping all the powers you know, having a very successful life, uh, charisma, you know, privileges, everything. But you left power. And uh, though the power is addiction, we all know. And uh, I can't see many other examples where the, such a big NGOs, even, even a small NGOs, you know, transferring power to the right people. So, uh, what is your view in, on it? How, how you left it? So, let me tell you about what power is. Power is the edge so. If you don't choose it, you cut the wood and the tree, it will cut you. As you said, if I am stagnant on my place, I'll be like a swamp. The swamp could be bigger, 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 and this will deceive you. But it's not a lake, it's not a river, it's not an ocean, it's a swamp. That's why, be careful with power and the double-edged sword. Or could be a self-exclusive. Either you use it when you fight enemies, or it will explode in you when you keep holding to it. This is power. My advice to my colleague is if you find things that you cannot fulfill and achieve your dream, no matter how high in the position you are, powerful you are, leave. Because leadership is a creation of space. A space you create for others and a space you leave for others to grow. So when I decided to leave Islamic belief, I had few initiatives. Which at the age of Islamic belief, after 25 years, to become like a heavy machine. A big organization like this cannot every day take a new initiative. So they have to go like a dinosaur, like a big rail or trail of trains. So every day or every other day you have new initiatives. So I have to decide, I decided to leave, to allow the organization to carry on building itself and allow myself to go out to take the risk to create a space for myself and leave my space to others. After leaving Islamic belief 12 years ago, this 2018, 12 years ago, I'm very happy. You know why? Today I am in Tanzania with whom? Tell me. With Islamic, Islamic help. help. Last month, or more two months ago, I was in Chad with another local organization. Before that, I was in Nigeria with a third local organization. I'm going to Cameroon in two days with Islamic help again. This is a space I'm trying to create for this organization by adding their knowledge to my knowledge and my knowledge to their knowledge. Plus, the more I stay with you here, you teach me something, and on the way back, I teach you something. So creating double space. Before I coming here to Tanzania, I had my own space. But now after being with you at Islamic Health for the last four days, my space is growing. And on this, at the same time, your space is growing. Because I am feeding you and you are feeding me back. Yes. That's why this is the message. If you want to leave a legacy, leave a platform for solid leaders to stand on such a platform, and don't make the platforms only for yourself and your family Thank you. and your friends. Thank you, sir.